Hi, so in video 1520 we introduced the idea of this competition for the 3D printer. There have been some great responses, some great comments and some really interesting questions. Particularly one where a chap said, can you post the official rules in the description? And I thought, what an awesome idea. Unfortunately, there's two issues with that. One, not every platform actually shows the description, so folks would miss the official rules. And two, I hate writing. I'm really, I'm a lazy writer. So I thought I'd do a video of the official rules of the competition. Now, the competition official rules are, you need to create something that will at minimum light an LED. End of story. Anything else you want to interpret from that is really up to you. And of course, that's very broad scope and it's meant to be. So if you want to create something that is chemical, mechanical, solar, thermal, awesome. All of them are going to really do well. If you want to light up your street, fantastic. Your minimum is an LED. So you can infer a lot from that official rule just by having the official rule. I also didn't mention whether it could be a group or an individual or what location you came from because clearly they don't matter. If you're actually doing a group, you're doing an individual effort, you want to make multiple entries, you happen to live in Alaska or uh, the Antarctic, fantastic! They're all available for entry. So the basic rule is the guidance for it. Any interpretation of that is going to be just fine by me. Now, you have to remember the format of the competition. The first stage is to do that. Create that thing, take a video, send the video in. The second stage of the competition is for me to create a shortlist. So from that, I will create a shortlist. That list of names on the shortlist is final and not open for discussion, I'm afraid. So I'll create that shortlist. The shortlist will then go for public view and the person who gets the most likes and the least dislikes is going to win the 3D printer. In the unlikely, extremely unlikely condition where it's a draw, I'll make final decision and that final decision will not be open for discussion. So there you go. There are the rules for the competition. Really very, very simple. Open to interpretation however you want it to be. Now that's the end of the rules and what I want to do is a little bit of difference to help you a bit more because there's a difference between an entry and a winning entry. And a winning entry I understand needs a little more guidance. But it's guidance and not rules. To make an entry, follow those simple rules and you're done. On the guidance side of things then obviously I'm going to create a shortlist. So uh, what am I looking for in that shortlist? In that shortlist, I'm looking for the kind of things that I'm interested in. So inventiveness, creativity, perhaps top of the list, good use of the materials around you. Not buying specialist bits and pieces, but good use of the materials around you. So clearly, if you go and buy a Chinese hand crank generator or a double A battery and attach an LED to it, you're not going to get shortlisted, because for my mind that shows very little creativity indeed. So if you want to get onto the shortlist, bear in mind the kind of things I'm looking for in order to shortlist. And of course the kind of things I'm looking for are the kind of things that I've been doing on the channel. So that's great guidance for the sort of stuff I'd be interested in seeing. Now, it doesn't have to be completely whiz-bang flash. If you've created your own battery, then that's going to be awesome because I like that kind of creativity. I like people who look at things around them and think, hmm, can I use that to do this? And then they do it, and I think, that's awesome. So it doesn't have to be too whiz-bang. It doesn't have to be too fantastic. It can be. It doesn't have to be. And it'll get onto the short list. And then after the shortlist, of course, you have to think, what are the public looking for? Because remember, this is guidance for a winning entry as opposed to rules for entry. What the public are looking for is a bit of a mystery, and really it's just going to be good luck with that one. But as guidance, then try to make your video short. Your video shouldn't run for 20 minutes. Now, I know, me included, we like the sounds of our own voices and think everything we say is a pearl of wisdom. Unfortunately, it's not. You have to try to keep your video short, punchy, to the point, and aim for somewhere between three and five minutes, because most videos are watched over a coffee break, and that coffee break doesn't last that long. If it's a 40-minute video, it's unlikely to get watched. So try to keep your videos short. 
Now, YouTube say that most video views occur in the first two weeks of the video that's posted. So we're going to collect all the videos. The, cl the closing entry is the 31st of October. We'll collect all the videos. You have to give us a day or two to get those videos up. And so a day or two after the 31st of October, the videos will go up. They'll run for two weeks. At the end of 14 days from when they've gone up, then that will be the voting, public voting closed, and that will be when we decide who has actually won the 3D printer. Anyway, I thought I'd put all that stuff down those, uh, because I, I was asked a lot of questions, and most of the questions can be answered just by what I've just said. In fact, all of them can be answered by just what I've just said. Because you interpret that in a different way and that's not included in what I've just said, then it's because I don't really care and you're going to get an entry. So please do enter the competition. I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up with. I hope this was of help and answers all of those questions and it contains the official rules for entry. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and make a competition entry.